So I've come across this cluster fig, uh, hence the name cluster because uh, all the fruits grow in a cluster off the trunk, but they're always associated with riparian zones and that's just a zone of vegetation that is along the water's edge and a really important habitat for a lot of animals. But when these fall into the water, uh, they're actually food for heaps of things like turtles, fish, and fishermen actually sometimes cast their line right underneath a fig tree, hoping that there'll be a fish in wait. But um, interesting relationship between a fig wasp, what happens is the way that these are pollinated is that the fig, the wasp will actually crawl into the fig burrow and it actually loses its antennae and its wings during that process and it will pollinate the inside. Could, if we open this, the inside's very intricate and this is pretty much like the ovaries of the fig. So they pollinate that and then uh, their young will actually grow up in here and then the males of the young will actually burrow back out the uh, fig and then the females will actually deposit all the pollen and then pollinate another pod as well. Fascinating little um, thing that, you know, there's a whole little world happening in this little fruit. So that's the story of the fig and the fig wasp.